First dangle in the new boat, fall and winter fishing tips, and some good old chunky largemouth bass all coming up on today's video of LFG Fishing TV. Thanks for coming along today, everybody. We've got something special for you. I'm heading to go on a big whitetail hunt with my good buddy and manager, Matt Kendrick, also known as Manager Matt here at the Guggen Squad. And there just so happens to be an awesome bass lake on the place that we're going to, so we're gonna be heading out there and doing that. And today's video is brought to you by the best holiday gift for the dangler in your family, Mystery Tackle Box. That's right, y'all, if you're sitting there and you're wondering, I don't know what to get Uncle Jim. He loves to fish, I got him that daggum bass that comes off the wall and talks and says things and I don't know what to get him this year. This is it right here, y'all. Any man, woman, or child that loves to give it a dangle, you get them one of these right here, they're gonna have a smile on their face. You can get them a single box or get them a subscription service like I've done with my friends and family. It just makes it easy. It's the gift that keeps on giving every month. It's like daggum fishmas. And if you just wanna treat yourself to an extra special fishmas, Check out the holiday specials that are going on at mysterytacklebox.com. And if you want to get signed up for your first box for as low as $5, use the code MONDO. They also got gift certificates and other awesome stuff on there. So get on there, just give it a dangle. Thank you, MTV, for sponsoring today's video. And now it is time to go see what we have in the pro box. Take it out to the water, get us a bass, put it gingerly up to our nose, and smell a gorgeous greenback beauty. We've made it to our clandestine waters. It's cold, y'all, so we're gonna be using uh, some cold water tactics, probably slowing down our presentations a little bit. Uh, good thing is we do have grass in this lake, which is, uh, I always like fishing grass lakes in the colder months. It seems to, like, the fish kind of bury up in that, um, but, like, you always kind of know where they are, whereas, like, clear open water lakes, they, they might roam around a little bit, and uh, they just become harder to, to locate. They'll suspend. Uh, they kind of go up and down with the temperature, so I like grass lakes when it's cold. The first starting of the engine. There's the first little bit of pee right there. We know it's working. And the graph seems to be working. There's that grass down there. 51 degree water, that better come up. Yeah, she's rolling. What I'm gonna do in this little lake that I'm in is try to find the deepest spots uh, that have the grass lines on them because we're, we don't have a sunny day. If it was a real sunny day and it was gonna warm up the shallow grass flats, then I would go up there. But since it's overcast, we're in the afternoon, the weather's just not warming up, I wanna stay close to the deep water. So the deepest spot out here is probably like 12, 16. So I'm gonna be fishing on the edges of these grass lines and actually even try, trying to keep my bait down here in this grass because these cold days they just kind of bury up in it and let's get into the box baby yeah i'm ready to get to fishing y'all oh we've got some good stuff in here for this time of year these conditions this is a jerk bait right here a excellent cold water bait and this is by strike pro the first one on the list that I grabbed, Strike Pro Jumper 110. Got a Chatterbait Bucktail, Z-Man Chatterbait Bucktail, which is a, like a cold water version of the Chatterbait. We've got a Booyah One Knocker, excellent little uh, wintertime and fall bait when they start chasing shad. That's a really good imitation there. We've got our fish sticker, we might as well break it in. First sticker to go on the new console. <sighs> Crescent with a sweet, guitar sounds of uh, the bass. We have a Carolina kit. Dang, that's cool. So you've got brass weights in here uh, with brass knockers. They make sounds. You have uh, beads and swivels. So everything is included right there. Um, and you also have a finesse style worm. This is Carl's Amazing Baits. So it's a finesse style worm there. We've got the Streak Z Curly Tail, which we will put on this is even chatterbait there, and then uh, we've got a, uh, uh, dang, I think this is a rodent. I forget the name of these. The thing I really want to try is the old bucktail chatter. I really want to try this. Pick that up right there. That should be money juice. I don't think I'm going to fish any plastics, to be honest with y'all. I'm just going to go 
uh, street hard baits with it being a little windy and just trying to cover some water here. I'm gonna tie on this one knocker. Interested to get the water readings. When the water uh, is around the low 50s, low to mid 50s, um, these are great. I love fishing these in the spring as well and that, at those water temps, but um, all three of these things. This is like good from 50s down into the 30s even. Those are really good. I mean, that's good at like a lot of temps, but you know, why don't we see if this trolling motor even works, y'all? No idea. That thing turned on, so that's a good sign. Let's deploy it. Let's see. Uh, let's see if it's gonna work here. Oh yeah, yeah, we're good. Hallelujah, we're good. Let's catch a fish, baby. Whee-wee. Uh, I'm throwing this on a 7.3 to 1 gear ratio reel, and I've got uh, a 7.2 medium, a medium power fast action rod. It's good for throwing just all sorts of crankbaits. And what I'm trying to do with it is just kind of tick that grass. Just let that bait fall down here. Hit that grass. Almost like I want it to get snagged in there a little bit. Oh, there's one there. Oh yeah, he knocked it good. It feels like a little one. Expect to catch some some donks on the, the old quarter ouncer. And he looks cold. He looks cold. Couldn't resist that little shad offering. Oh, he actually barely got it. What happened on that fish is like my first crank, he hit it. My gosh, he is cold. He is cold. See you, buddy. In the fall, sometimes you get uh, a lot of small fish that group up in in creeks and certain areas, but usually the, it's like in the backs of creeks. And uh, you'll just be going along, you'll be catching a bunch of little ones, and then all of a sudden you'll hook into like one big nice one. Um, and in my experience, I've, I usually catch my bigger fish in the fall, like just close to deep water. They get out on ledges or uh, just hang close to deep water so that if like a big cold front comes in, they can easily just head out there to the deep water where they can, you know, maintain a, a good, good homeostasis. My favorite retrieve with lipless baits is a start and stop or almost like just a just a pull pull and stop and i do this i do this a lot in the spring but i've started doing it just year round instead of a straight retrieve because even when it's cold like this there's a fish right there now oh, it's grass no i got one he's so he's, oh my gosh i had a fish he was so small couldn't even feel him on there a lot of times what happens though the, the fish will be following it and if you just keep reeling, they never really get the opportunity or never triggered to eat. But if you stop it and they just kind of run into it, they're swimming behind it and then they run into it uh, and they're, they're just kind of forced to eat it. There's one right there. As soon as I stopped it. Man, these fish are lethargic. I have a feeling they're going to eat the jerk bait pretty good. Another little guy. Another little boss. All right, that's two little ones on the little quarter ounce so far. If I just kind of like pump, pump that rod tip. And a lot of times you'll just, you will like, you'll start to, oh, there he is again. Oh, my God. Oh, he hit it on the slack line that time. That was crazy. On the pause, hit it, hit it while I was dropping there. So closer to this deep water, I've gotten more bites. They're just little guys. <clears throat> They'll just, uh, they'll just get on there and then like your next pump, you'll just feel the bass and it'll get heavy. And I, I like fishing this medium power because just a lot of absorption and you just land a lot more fish with it. Plus you can cast it super easy. We're gonna just slow roll this baby right here. Bumping up my rod to a medium heavy, medium heavy power. 
fast action. It's a slower retrieve. I want it to get down close to that grass and four to six foot, maybe even eight foot, wherever it's making that contact. And I'm gonna just pull it out like that when I get hung in the grass. Ooh, got him, got him right there. A little better fish. Boy, that bite was interesting. He sucked it in. Got you, buddy. Check our water temps. See our fish right there. Fish sitting right over the grass. 52. This uh, vibrating jig bite, it is usually better when it's just a little bit warmer. Oh, okay. I'm gonna fish this Guggen Squad Scout real quick just because I, uh, I've already got it tied on just to see how the jerk bait bite is. It's a little bit smaller profile too. With the jerk bait, it's totally different. You work this more like a top water than anything. You're twitching the bait and then just letting it sit there. It's that erratic action and then just pausing it. That's that, that's the key. They grab it on the pause every time you almost never hook one while you're you're going through a series of, of twitches unless you're fishing for smallmouth or like super aggressive okay nothing on the jerk bait so far switch back to the old lipless here i think what might be better just for the water that i'm in if i have like a three eighths or a half oh there's one there first first cast after switching it's like man they really want they really like this they like it on the pause but that is not the size that we want right there i think what i may do is switch up this size go with our uh, guggen squad clutch that's in a in a half ounce and well, i can just get it out a little bit deeper fishing on those deeper grass lines just more effectively and try to get a bigger fish there's one. Oh, that was better that one's better there we go uh, i think he is he might be might be fooling me what we got going on here oh he's a little bit better yeah oh gosh he came off right there daggum that was uh that was at least a two pounder Oh, there's another one. Oh, that's good. He hit it good. No, he's small, but he smoked it. Oh, a little better actually. Sometimes I get a, on these like windy areas, windy points, windy flats. Yeah, he got it. He got it. You are a green, green grass bass, sir. It's a matter of time until I catch a good one. I tell you what, this is the bait. They want a lipless. Oh gosh, smoked. Oh, we come off. Oh my. I'm talking hammered it. There's another one. They're sitting there. They're, they're on this windy situation. I'm gonna just spot lock it here. There we go. Gotcha, buddy. A little bit better. A little bit better and you ate it. Uh, you ate it by the head. Yeah. Bucktail toss here. Fish. He's a skier. That's what you call a skier right there. Come on now. Still got milk on your lip. Get out there, get a little bigger, son. Oh gosh, he came right there. Right under the boat. Oh, so just literally crawling in the grass. Smoked it. Absolutely choked it. It's gone. Ah, there we go. That's how we get the better ones. That's how we get those better ones right there. Look how down the mouth that is. If you guys notice on the 
my rod tip it was just kind of like a like a pump that last one choked it but it was literally like as i'm doing what i'm doing right here like it's in the grass i could feel it it's in the grass and i'm just lifting it out almost like a uh like a texas rig like you would like a fast texas rig move crawling it on the bottom action has been hot y'all but the size is not so i'm gonna actually switch up from this quarter and i'm gonna go with a half ounce i'm gonna go with the clutch good good squad clutch y'all this is <laughs> i love this color too in grass uh, when there's crawfish around mm, a little orange on the belly a little red oh almost got a 10 pounder on one like this this year so anyway, I just I think the quarter's a little small. It's perfect for like fishing high up in the water column, schoolers, uh, but I want to get down there a little bit more, so I'm gonna use this bait and uh, try to catch a bigger one. Because at this point, I've got a bunch of fish. I'm satisfied. I just want a, one good sniffer. smoked it under the boat on the pause. I don't know if you guys can see that just the my line flinch literally like a long pause while I was sinking and it's gone. That's that's why you use the medium rod. That's why you do those pauses right there. It is gone. I love it. All right. Now we're getting out here a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger water. This little heavier bait, I can get it down there. Some of these deeper grass lines, there's one. Oh, you're not big. But you were attached to my line and I thank you for it. Thank you. There we go, there's a good one. Hit it on the pause, and he's loaded. He might be coming at me. Oh, he loaded up good at first. Oh, he's being a little weird. Oh, come on. Oh, that was a good one. That was a better one for sure. Oh gosh, smoked it. Smoked it. That one's not as good. That last one, I wasn't sure how big it was gonna be. Dang, they're freaking fired on these lipless cranks out here. Oh gosh, latched onto it. There we go. There's a bend in that rod. There's a bend in that rod now. Come on, be a good one. No, he's just side hooked. God, that one latched it good. Hammered it. Yeah, these fish are cold, lethargic. Look at this. I mean, that is just what you know. <laughs> that is when you know they want a bait, y'all. Look at that. It's gone. Like it's, it's choked. It's amazing. There he is. I mean, I don't know if that's him, but he smoked it like a good one. Oh, gosh, y'all. They're hitting it like a jig like a jig bite when you just drop your rod tip let that bait fall <sighs> God, look at that beautiful dark dark bass right there beautiful dark fish and it's just on that pause it's just that's the key pause that bait if i was just straight retrieving it i wouldn't get near as many bites Oh, you're in these little deeper cuts. Oh gosh, hammered. Gosh, not Sally. Just another good fish. <laughs> Absolutely smoking these lipless cranks, y'all. Clutch, it's being clutch right now. Woo! My goodness, y'all, this is like way better than what I thought it was gonna be. For this cold front that's here. Okay. All right, 
right, y'all, watch this rod action here. It's like a sweeping pump. It's like, stop. Stop. And on that stop, that's when you get the bite. It's dang near like a jig bite. You feel it. Oh, that rod loaded up. Uh, it's not her though. <laughs> it's not her. I always like on that first initial pull, I check my rod and I'm like, ah, feels pretty good, but it's not the, it's not the stopper that we're looking for. It's really typical of fall fishing though, right here. Just a lot of two pound less than two pound fish looking for that one stud oh gosh there she is loaded up big time out in the deeps stop my rod that's a good one she stopped it oh yeah there you are i was looking for you honey Bring me your big old fat, beautiful face. Yeah, I'll get my hands a little wet for you, baby. Yeah, there we go. That's a nice fish. Just got that thing. Nice, thick and healthy. That's a little better one. That's what we're looking for. Oh yeah. Woo, darling. Okay. See ya, honey. Oh God, oh no. Oh, I got her, got her, came back, no. Oh my gosh, what? All right, I've got a couple of good bites out here. I'm gonna just make a few more casts in this deep zone where I think El Big Mama is. Oh gosh, I smoked it. Can't believe that fish didn't get on. A reactionary slap. Wow. There's definitely. Oh, there's another one right there. Good one. Oh, God. Came off. That was right in that same area. I got yo yo hit. There's like a hole right here. And there's some good ones. I'm just not getting them in the boat. Ah. There's like one little deep spot right here. Gosh, why am I losing them? <gasps> oh, came back and got it, what? What in the heck? These are good ones. Oh gosh, that's a big one. These are big ones in here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, choked. <sighs> oh, dude. Oh my gosh, this is like my fourth bite right there. I knew they were good fish. I just felt like they were smoking it. They're in a deep hole together. I finally got this one. Oh yeah, baby, come here. Oh, you're barely hooked. You're barely hooked. Don't do it. Don't you do it. Come here. Give me that face. Open that mouth. Ah, she's hooked on the outside of the mouth. She don't want to open. I'm gonna have to two hand it. Oh yeah, baby. Now that's a fish right there, y'all. That's the one I wanted, yeah. That is an absolutely gorgeous fish. And I don't know why they're just kind of slapping it. These big ones that are in this big hole out here, they're just slapping the bait. I've missed quite a few of them, but that one finally got it. Got it on the pause and it stopped my rod like I was talking about. You just know when they hit it. It's like, that's her, that's her. 
Golly, man, what a beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Must add triple grips on that clutch. That, my friends, is the game ender for today. Let's give it a sniff, y'all. <sighs> Return it back to the waters. What an awesome fish. See you, girl. Oh, and that is how we're gonna end today. I would fish a little bit more, guys, because I know there's more in this hole that I found, but I have to go get my rifle ready for a deer hunt. I have to go sight it in. I'm out here, uh, I'm gonna do some deer hunting. That's the next video that's coming up, but there's such a good bass lake on this place. I was like, I have to bring my new boat out here. I have to break it in right. And uh, looks like we just got our first five pound Mondo in the new silver bullet. Thank you guys, as always, for tuning in for all the action right here on the channel. And make sure to subscribe if you want to see more. If you're into deer hunting, if you like big bucks, you want to stay tuned. I'm going hunting with manager Matt. It's going to be his first time deer hunting. I'm going to sit in a blind with him, and I'm going to get the opportunity to go after some bucks as well. Some big ones, y'all. Stay tuned. I love you guys. God bless you, and I'll see you on the next one.